Okay, seventh grade. So we are on our third lesson of our unit on percents. We're talking about percent of change today. Percent of change is when you can compare old values and new values via a percentage. Um, it's a way, for example, you could calculate a discount percentage on something. A discount percentage is a form of a percent of change. So we're just going to take three basic problems here where we're starting with a number and we end up with a new number and we're being asked to find the percent of change. So you should have that um, formula on your notes. You can see it says amount of change over original amount. And that's what we're going to calculate. The amount of change is basically the difference of the two numbers. We subtract the two numbers. So I'm going to take the two numbers. Always just do bigger number minus smaller number. It doesn't matter the order. So I'm going to do 112 minus 68. And then that's always going to be divided by um, the original number. I look at my, or my original number here was 112. That's what I started with. So that is the original amount. So then I'm just going to do the math here. 112 minus 68 is, um, if I do some math here, 44. And that's still over 112. Then I'm just going to do that division in my calculator, which I have a calculator somewhere. I'll be right back. All right, it was sitting, the calculator was sitting on my makeshift desk, desk in my basement, which is also a ping pong table. So, all right, we've got, we're just going to do 44 divided by 112. We do that, we get a long decimal here. I get a point three nine two eight. I'm going to stop there. Really, you only need to go four digits because what you're going to do is you're going to move it two places to the right because this is a decimal and we want our answer to be a percent. So I move it two to the right, and now that's 39.28, but I'm going to round to the nearest tenth. Again, always assume round to the nearest tenth unless you're told otherwise. So that'll be 39.3. I write the percent. And then the final step is you need, to, you need to say if it's a percent increase or a decrease. It's fairly simple to figure out. You just look at the number. Did it go up or down? We started at 112. We went down to 68, so it's a percent decrease. You could write the word decrease, or I'm totally fine with just an arrow down like that. So if I had 112, I don't know, um, 100, oh man, I should have come more prepared here, 112 baseballs, uh, then we went to practice, but we came back with only 68 baseballs, how many baseballs did we have, or what was the percent of change in baseballs, we had a 39.3% decrease in baseballs. All right, let's look at our next example, 58 to 68. So we're going to do the same thing. We need to find the amount of change, the difference of the two numbers. So all we do is we subtract the two numbers. Again, just bigger number minus smaller number. It doesn't matter the order for that part. But then it's over the original amount. The original amount is not necessarily the bigger or smaller number. It's the number you started with. We started with 58. So 58 is on the bottom. It is the original amount. So now we just do this, uh, 68 minus 58 is 10. So we got 10 divided by 58. We're just gonna calculate that. 10 divided by 58. I'm getting point one, seven, two, four. I'm gonna move my decimal two to the right, round to the nearest 10. So this is 17.2% and this is an increase. It's an increase because we started with 58 and we went up to 68. All right, our final one, 326 to 303. So same thing. We're going to um, find the amount of change by subtracting the two numbers. So 326 minus 303, that's going to be over our original amount, which is 326 because that's what we started with. So we do that subtraction. 326 minus 303 is 23, and that's still over 326. I do that division in my calculator. 23 divided by 326. I get 0 0.07, I can't see my calculator, 0, 0.5, move my decimal 2 to the right, round to the nearest 10, that 7 point, I look at the 0, the next digit is a 5, tells me to round the 0 up to 1, so 7.1%, and this is a decrease, because we started with 326, we went down to 303, so a decrease, so a 7.1% decrease. All right, so that was example one. Uh, come back to watch example two next.